Hey guys, Todd from Lowbrow Customs here. Uh, today we're going to show you our Filtro Max uh, filter system, mounting system. Been out for a little while, you may not have seen it, so we're going to show it to you now. And if you like this video, you can subscribe to our other videos. Just click the button. It's somewhere. It's somewhere on there. You, you, if you can see it but I can't, just go ahead and click it, then you'll be subscribed. Okay. Oil filter, pretty important on your vintage motorcycle. You know, uh, if you're building a custom shovel head or pan head, knuckle head, flat head, any one of those head motorcycles, the stock oil tanks on some of them had a filter built into it. Well, now you just put that really cool round oil tank on there with no filter. Probably not the best plan of action. So you need to get one of these Filtromax and get it on there. It comes with a housing available in black or polished aluminum. It also comes with this bracket included with the kit. It is weldable. If you want to attach it to your frame or wherever you decide you might want to put it, this will come in handy. Mounting hardware, it also comes with a couple of fittings, hose barb fittings to attach the hoses. This is what it looks like assembled. Comes with the center portion for attaching the oil filter. Small side's gonna go in. Oil filter is just gonna thread right on there just like on a modern day motorcycle, like so. Can pretty much be mounted in any way that you so choose. We also have these really cool front motor mount uh, brackets. Once again, black or polished. This will fit on a big twin, shovel head, pan head, evolution, two holes, it will sit on top of the frame where the motor mount is in the front. Bolts will go through the frame and into the bottom of this. And it comes with a couple of longer Allen head bolts that you'll simply place in those two recessed holes and attach the housing to that. And that's what that looks like. Really cool thing about doing it this way is the filter is facing down. So when you go to change your oil, it all goes in the pan instead of all over your motorcycle. I know some of the modern Harley bikes, when you take the filter off, it goes everywhere. And we also have the stainless steel bracket, which has a bolt pattern to go on the front motor mount of an iron head. But technically, you could pretty much use this anywhere if you'd like. If this is, you know, you want to go ahead and replicate this bolt pattern somewhere on your bike with a couple of coped bungs or whatever the case may be, bolts on like so. Once again, either way, anywhere on the bike you want to put that, it will fit on an iron head with no modifications, but could also be used on other models. And we also have this nifty little bracket, and these are both made out of stainless steel. So, you want to paint them to match your frame, that's cool. You want to polish it, you could leave it just like this. It's not going to rust because it is stainless. These are pretty heavy duty. This one is for if you have a belt drive. These two bolts will go into your crankcase, and then the Filtromax will bolt to that. Oh, one other thing worth noting on these filters, they are marked in and out. Uh, return oil is going to go in, that way it gets filtered before it gets sent back to the tank. Return oil in, filtered oil out, back to the oil tank. And that's really all there is to it. Fairly simple thing to do. Like I said, if your old shovel head doesn't have an oil filter on it, it's definitely a good idea to have one on there. And the Filtro Max is a great solution for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Get that oil filter on your old bike and go for a ride. System can be used on just about any motorcycle and cut. Uh, we're going to show you this blah, 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 blah. Hey, guys. <laughs> but that was stupid to say, so let's go ahead and start over again.
may 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 not blah 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 Take three. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're not putting that in the video.